Hi, I'm going to use a really tough example to show you how to use the martelli mortonari algorithm um, to uh, find the most common unificator of these two th um, formulas right here um, of propositional logic. So um, let's start. So I want to first try to unify the P formulas. And this works because they have the same amount of arguments and they start with the same letter, so the same function right here, P of this and P of that, that can be unified. So now I'm going to use the second step of the algorithm, which is to unify every part of them now. And the first part of the, the P is the G of Y and A. So I want the G of Y and A to be equal to Z. And then uh, the second part is G of F of X and B and Z and I want this to be equal to G of F of G of U and Y and B and U and the other one I just leave it this way so this is like now broken up into two parts and the other one just um, stays like that so Q of A should be equal to Q of Epsilon now I'm going to use the sixth step and the second step which um, again I'm going to break them into parts and as I do this, I'm going to flip this around because that's also part of the step. So you need the variable to be on the left side and the function to be on the right side. So I'm going to do that. Z should be equal to G of Y and A. And I'm um, still going to break the other ones apart. So this um, I'm going to take apart because it can be unified according to the second step because G and G can be um, are the same function and they have the same amount of arguments inside so I'm gonna transform this into F of X and B should be equal to uh, F of G and U and Y and B um, and the second part of that is that Z should be uh, equal to U and then just write the rest of that down Y then I'm going to use the fourth step and I'm going to say well if uh, Z is equal to this here then I'm going to replace every z with that and if uh, then I'm going to replace every z with that yeah so z is equal to g of y and a and f of x and b is equal to f of g and u and y and B. And now replace that Z with the thing here which is G of Y and A should be equal to U and then write the rest of it down Q of A should be equal to Q of Epsilon okay then I'm gonna use the second and the sixth step the second one is to take out um, parts of the function and the sixth step is to turn stuff around so um, this one I'm going to break into parts um, the Z stays the way it is so Z is equal to G of Y and A and this is going to now be taken apart because it's the same function right here same num number of arguments so X should now be equal to um, G of U and Y and B should be equal to B and 
and then this one is the one that's going to get turned around because we want the function on the right side so g uh, u should be equal to g of y and a and the last one just stays like that next I'm gonna use the first rule which says if you have a b and a b like two absolutely equal stuff just um, leave them out of the function out of the thing g, y and a x of g of u and y u of g of y and a and q of a should be equal to q of epsilon to y. Now I'm going to use the fourth step of the algorithm, which says if um, if I have uh, u equal to that, then I can like write any u as that. So I'm going to just leave the first first part right like this g of y and a but my x will now be equal to g of g of v, y and a and y my u stays like this and my q stays like this Then I'm going to use the second step to break this apart. Everything will stay the same except for that one. So Z of G, Y, A, X, and blah, blah, G, G, Y, A, Epsilon, U of G Y A. God, this is long, and Y A should be equal to Y. And then I'm going to use the sixth step, which just turns them around. And with the sixth step, everything will be the same except for a Y will be equal to A, because Y is a variable. And in, in my example, a is a function, so a is in, um, in the sigma. Okay, um, and then I'm going to use the fourth step and say, well, if epsilon is equal to y, then I can replace every epsilon with this y, uh, with, the, with this a. So if epsilon is equal to a, I can replace every epsilon with this a. And then I'm going to say z is equal to g of y of, oh sorry, oh my god, of a and a, x is equal to g of g of a and a and a, um, u is equal to g of a and a and y is equal to a <clears throat> so um, we got to the conclusion that um, z is g of a and a x is g of g of a and a and a u is equal to g of a and a and epsilon uh, so y is equal to a and we cannot use any further steps right here, so we're just gonna like say that our most um, um, general unificator, our most general unificator or MGU is equal to. So um, we kind of switch sides, so we're gonna switch, so we're going to replace every Z with G of A and A. 
um, replace every x with g of g of a and a and a. Replace every u with g of a and a. And replace y with a. So this is um, this is our um, sub you can we can use that for our substitution now, and I'm just going to give you a view of the whole thing so you can maybe write notes. Well, I hope this helped you somehow. Bye.